Hello, David Harper, Bionic Turtle. I wanted to illustrate margin requirements and daily settlement for commodity futures contracts. In this case, I'm going to use gold as the example of the commodity, but it could be any investment or consumption commodity. Uh, one contract of gold on the as a futures contract is for 100 ounces. Let's assume we're interested in exposure or long exposure on two contracts, which is two times 100 ounces per contract or 200 ounces of gold. Also assume the spot price of gold and the futures price of gold for that matter is a thousand dollars per ounce. Now I've rounded this number down grossly from the current price of gold which is significantly higher than a thousand dollars per ounce but that's just to keep the example simple so I've rounded all the numbers here just keep that in mind. So if the futures price of gold is a thousand dollars per ounce and I'm interested in two contracts, 100 ounces per contract, then the notional is $200,000. Now what that means here is that one alternative is for me to purchase 200 ounces of gold. 200 times 1,000, that would require an investment of $200,000 to have that cash long exposure to the gold commodity. Alternatively, I can take a long position in a futures contract. So gold futures happen to trade on NYMEX or uh, the COMEX division of NYMEX and they will give me, they will give me both an initial margin and a maintenance margin. And again, really, really rounded off grossly, initial margin of 6,000 per contract and maintenance margin of 4,000. What does that mean? That means I, if I take a long position on two contracts, with an initial margin of 6,000 per contract, my initial margin is 12,000. Two times six equals 12,000. So I need to deposit $12,000 into the margin account in order to be long these two contracts. The maintenance margin is the trigger such that if my margin account balance drops below this, I need to, I will receive the margin call. So notice something right away here by depositing 12,000 into the my into my as my initial margin in the margin account notice that is only 12 into 2000 6% of the notional value of the contracts so that right there is the leverage that is inherent in the long futures position and the futures is as contract is a derivative so this is again what we hear about the leverage that is built into derivatives contracts. By depositing $12,000 into my initial margin account, I control 200 ounces of gold. So now just to illustrate how that works real briefly, if I go down here and just simulate some hypotheticals, so let's say the futures price is $1,000 per ounce today on June 14, 2010 and I deposit per the initial margin requirements $12,000 into my margin account and I'm just simulating here now the position goes against us the gold price drops the futures price specifically drops let's say end of day it drops to $990 that's per ounce I have two contracts 100 ounces per contract so I have $10 times 200 or you can notice right here a paper loss of $2,000 because I have a long position on those 200 um, ounces or 200,000 notionally. But I've, so I've lost 2,000 and that means my margin account balance drops from 12,000 to 10,000. Again, owing to a $10 decline in the futures price. But the $10,000 hasn't reached the maintenance margin so far, okay. Now I go forward another day and let's just simulate another $10 price. Gold drops $10 per ounce. That is a $2,000 loss on my 200 ounces. And my margin account balance now drops to $8,000. Let's go forward another day and drop another $10 and now the margin account balance is down to 6,000 and you'll notice I breached the maintenance margin as dictated by the exchange. So now I get the margin call. Here's the key thing for FRM candidates. Where, do we get a margin call back to the maintenance margin? No, the maintenance margin 
the margin call wants us to top up back to the initial margin. Our margin account balance owing to cumulatively $30 drop in the price of gold brought us down to 6,000. Our margin call is for $6,000. The exchange wants $6,000 in cash um, back in the account to top us back up to the initial margin of 12,000. And so you can see if the next day I continue this tale of woe, $10 drop, drop, uh, drop in the uh, per ounce gets me to a margin account balance of 10,000 and I'm still not going to receive the margin call. So key points. First, the f if you, as a long futures counterparty, we are depositing cash into the margin account that is protecting our count, our counterparty against their credit risk, their credit exposure to us. This margin, this cash in the margin account is collateral to them or technically a performance bond. However, we achieve by using the futures contract instead of investing into gold directly, a tremendous amount of uh, leverage. In fact, in this case, it's a 6% leverage or 17 times. By spending $12,000, we control the notional of $200,000. Third, the exchange sets the margin requirements. Fourth, key for the exam, for exam candidates, when we receive the margin of call, call because our account breached the maintenance margin, the margin account call wants to top up back to the initial margin, not back to the maintenance margin. Fourth and finally, unlike forward contracts, these are futures contracts that trade on an exchange with an associated clearinghouse. And so every day here, there is this daily settlement. Let me use two terms here, mark to market on the value of this position with daily settlement, which implies that on any given day, there may be a margin call or conversely excess margin that I can pull out. This is cash at the margin, which is deposited at an interest rate. This creates a little bit of excess cash flow volatility that makes the pricing of the futures contract a little bit different than the forward. And so that's the key difference here between the futures contract, mark to market, daily settlement, apply, implying cash flow volatility at the margin, as opposed to the forward contract, which in many cases would not experience this daily settlement and mark to market. This is David Harper, The Bannock Turtle. Thanks for your time.